Location, 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 the age-old mantra when it comes to all things property. And if we were to adopt that one for an international guide, you can pretty much guarantee Dubai would be top of the list at the moment. We are taking a deep dive into the world of real estate here in Dubai, the UAE, the region as a whole. We're talking to a variety of experts and, of course, helping you make the right decision. Here is what's coming up tonight. Khalid went down to Progressive Property Network to meet some real estate experts in the city. And Maitha went to check out the Dubai Opera Ball, the foundation of all performing arts. Yeah, great to have you with us on DXB today. Bit of music throughout proceedings, but our big focus here tonight is about all things property, all things real estate. Uh, have you got what it takes to be the next broker uh, of Dubai real estate agent qualities? We're going to be talking to trainers. We've got all sorts of experts uh, focusing on the market, not just here in the UAE, but of course across the globe. So the question has to be, team, have we all dived into the property market yet? Ladies first. Um, I have recently, but not here in Dubai. Oh. Yeah, so I bought a property in the UK recently. Okay. Nice. So seamless process? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, very seamless actually. Um, I don't know what buying a property is like here in the UAE. It's so what as I easy did, as what I've <laughs> what I did buy. Was, was, he's got about 15. <laughs> 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 I've got one. Um, I did it during COVID, and it was very intense because. COVID, the pandemic, going out, moving houses, it was crazy. And the process was very seamless. It was easy going. Everyone uh, at uh, Dubai Land Department was uh, great. Uh, papers were finished really fast. Um, but just the process of moving from one house to the other was was uh, hectic because meeting up with the person to get, hand over the keys with the masks and the gloves and yeah. everything and then having the movers move your furniture from one place to the other as well is, uh, was very nerve wracking because at that point, you don't know what was happening. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just got one property, Tom. I mean, it's <laughs> incredible. It says, doesn't it? This, the, the, the buying a property, moving from property to property, buying a property is one of the most stressful things yes. in the world. One thing that I have noticed in all the years I've been here, I think we bought our first property back in 2008 or something like that here. And I know it was a very sort of long process. Ahmed wasn't born then. <laughs> <It's very> true. <laughs> true. Uh, true. Um, but the process has been streamlined. And I think yeah. that's the beauty of the market at the moment. Yeah. Uh, we know that there is a feeding frenzy. We know there's a uh, huge amount of demand there. Rents are going through the roof at the mm -hmm. moment. House prices, uh, yeah. record house prices are being bro broken left, right and centre. Uh, the developers can't keep up with the demand at the moment. Uh, but the process of buying has been streamlined. It is yes. that much easier. Now. Yeah, yeah, I think since everything's online as well, it's just making everything easy and uh, accessible for everybody. Yeah. Instead of you going and waiting in the queue for long hours to finish your papers, now you can do everything on your phone, on an application, which yeah. is great. Easy, very easy. Maybe my next property will be here in the UAE, since it sounds like it's so easy and it is my home. Yeah. That's where I, my next property needs it. to be, yeah. <laughs> you reached oh. them. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. Since today is all about real estate, let's see who we have here in the city with us as the guest co-host. Hi everybody, my name is James. I'm the Director of Learning and Development at Axe Capital Real Estate, and I'm your co-host this evening. We'll see you in the studio soon. Yes, James will join us right here in a little bit. But first, Maitha went to check out the Dubai Opera Ball, the foundation of all performing arts in the city. So let's take a look. The Dubai Opera is the pinnacle of performing arts here in Dubai, and tonight they are showcasing some phenomenal talents. I'm here with Fabio Mastrangelo, the maestro of today's Dubai Opera Ball. How are you? I'm very good. I'm uh, very excited to be in Dubai. It's not my first time in Dubai, but it's my first time conducting my own orchestra from St. Petersburg, Russia, in this beautiful opera house. Today, I mean, we are doing many things with uh, my dear friend Hans Joachim Pai, and with many stars from the opera, and uh, not only. I mean, we have uh, Vittorio Grigolo. So I, I think it's a wonderful way to 
mingle and to receive some uh, very special emotions. And how long did it take you to prepare for this? Uh, well, my, my orchestra is a professional orchestra, so I mean, all the all the music that we play together is music that we perform many, many, many times. We could close our eyes and still play. <laughs> so uh, it took about a couple of days. So you've been to Dubai before. How have you seen the performing arts grow here? Ah, I think there is a lot of uh, requests. Uh, the fact that uh, Dubai is, uh, is a growing uh, artistical country in terms that uh, they want to challenge, uh, they want to be challenged. They love to have the top, they love to have uh, to give their, uh, this in this way, an, a, a very special hospitality. So you select the best of the world and you bring it here. I think this is a good idea because uh, if you want to, and you want to be close to something, you need to try first, uh, you know, the best. And then you can, if you try the best, uh, then it's, uh, it's impossible to, to take a step back, right? Yes. Performers from all over the world have gathered here to celebrate the opera. Day by day, Dubai is becoming more and more of a hotspot for performing arts. If you want to be witness to the action, make sure you grab the tickets. Wow, pretty tough act to follow on that occasion. Big thanks to Maitha for heading on down to the Dubai Opera. Now, on with the show. Boom, boom. Uh, our guest co-host today is a real estate pioneer who has fostered a learning culture here in the property world. He's trained well over 2,000 real estate professionals in the region and counting, advocating performance and success in the business at the moment. Please welcome to the show, uh, James Glass. James, always good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, good to be. I don't know, that's a tough act to follow after that intro, but... Uh, uh, after the opera Some as well. of those things are true, I know, between the opera and that. If, if, if you start banging out Ness and Dorma, then we will really be <laughs> a floor, that's for sure. Uh, listen, let's talk. It's one of those things, isn't it? You know, and with a booming real estate market as we're experiencing at the moment, it's attracting a lot of talent. It's also attracting a lot of people who are looking for a quick fix as well. Um, a lot of people think that they could be a real estate broker. A lot of people assume that they could sell a house or a flat or an apartment. What are the sort of unique skills that you're looking for? Yeah, good question. I mean, look, essentially anybody can uh, if they have the right determination. Uh, and the two things I always look for is just attitude and work ethic, right? If you have a positive attitude uh, and you've got just a, a crazy gritty work ethic, then you probably can be successful because it's not actually rocket science. If you get the right knowledge that you need, you got the right support system, you've got the right brand behind you supporting you, and you're just willing to be positive, because it gets tough, right? Like it's mostly commission-based. Uh, it's not an easy gig. It's not an easy industry to be in, and it's ups and downs, right? Every single agent in, in, the, in the world, right? really anywhere in the world in real estate, but especially in Dubai, I'm gonna tell you there are downs, and it's the people that are able to stay positive and stay gritty in those moments that are probably gonna be successful. So you just mentioned their commission. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna skip that. <laughs> Here we go. Next. So if I was to become a real estate agent, mm. how quickly is it until you start making those big bucks? Yeah, like, good question. That's what everyone wants to start making, isn't yeah, it, yeah. that money? Yeah, lots of different uh, like company structures as far as what an agent 
does when they join, right? So like some companies will have a leasing team where if you're mm -hmm. new to the industry, you'd have no experience, you would start as a rental agent, right? You're renting properties. And usually if you're doing only that, that's your focus, you should be able to get your first couple small rental transactions in the first, I mean, you know, in my last company, the average I was in five or six weeks um, to where you at least get some income and are able to start breaking even financially. If you're going into an organization where you really want to focus on sales, you know, like you mentioned, you got people, they come in, they want to go sell the, the massive villas and the penthouses on day two. <laughs> that that right? would be me. <laughs> right. Uh, which is good. That's the dream. But realistically, that takes months, right? Okay. If you're coming in new to the industry and you want to get to that level, it's going to take you know, I tell people prep for six months of making no money and, and you can do it. But again, that's where the attitude and that work ethic and the grittiness comes in, right? Okay. And okay, we talked about the commission right now, but how do you go on training these agents when they come to you? Yeah, uh, we do a lot because yeah. it's a whole new industry, right? And we do get a lot. I mean, obviously there are uh, good experienced professionals com yeah. coming over, especially when you have a brand like Axe Capital growing in the market. We literally just won last night a, a big award. Uh, best quality brokerage uh, in Dubai for 2023, so that was exciting. So when you have that kind of brand, it's easy to attract good talent, yeah. but it's also easy to attract people who are new to industry who are just excited. So you need a very rigid, structured training program to be able to give people the support that they need. Do you, um, and I, get, keep going, I will keep going back to this, the fact that we are in, a, in, in this sort of, this, this bull market at the moment, things are literally charging forward at, at present and things are happening very quickly as well. Is part of your job to manage expectations? When the market's buoyant, there's plenty out there for the fish to feed on, etc. But that market is going to go through ups and, ups and downs, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, look, we talk about the market, we educate people on the market, um, but also no one has a crystal ball, right? So yeah. everyone a year and a half ago was thinking, ooh, have we reached the, the post-COVID peak, right? And here we are 18 months later, the market's still booming. So we don't focus too much on the market. We're very realistic. We're very aware that the market will change as it always does. Uh, and also that that's not a game changer. That's not an ender, right? Like there are transactions that happen in a plateaued or a downward market. And it's the companies that position themselves well, the agents that set themselves up, especially with uh, you know their network and their clients for those moments who end up succeeding in, in that time. So yeah, I mean, we talk about the market. That's the reality. We all expect at some point that there will be some sort of a little downward turn that would only be natural and healthy yeah. for those of us who are paying rent. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we talk about it. So I mentioned earlier that I might be looking for a property yes. in the UAE. What do I need to look for when it comes to a real estate agent? What kind of with a yeah, real estate yeah, agent? Yeah, yeah like what, yeah, what uh, kind of skills do I need to know that they have, etc.? Yeah, I mean, look, the first thing I look for is just someone who's going to be honest. Uh, yeah. The reputation uh, in the market is that agents are not very honest, and that's not a Dubai problem. That is, again, an international, yeah, yeah. worldwide problem for the real estate sector. So, I would just you know, the biggest thing is just finding someone who actually is going to care more about you and helping you find the right fit for you rather than just selling the, selling you what they want to sell you. Yep. As soon as you find that person, um, you know the, the next thing is really just going to be location-based. So at Axe Capital, all of our secondary agents are area-focused, right? Because you can't learn all of Dubai. It's yep. way too big of a city. So you have a community, an area of Dubai that you really focus on. You become an absolute expert in that area. I'm talking, you know, every building, its name, location, the developer, who the contractor was, who built it, what the floor plans, types, prices per square foot. I'm talking like, you know, the area, right? And when you meet someone like that, who's honest and cares about what you want, then they'll be able to help you, right? And that's what we aim to develop at Axe Capital is agents who do that in all, all communities across Dubai. You said being honest, that's a, a key word because a lot of people have that perception that uh, the agents, all they, all they care about is themselves. All they want is the high commission and they call them like, sometimes you think they're greedy. Yeah. How do you tackle um, that? Yeah, well, <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> the question he's been waiting yeah. to ask. Yeah, look, it's tough, right? Obviously in a commission-based industry, uh, if you don't perform and you don't sell, you don't make money, you have to resign and probably move home. We see it all the time, unfortunately. So it's a reality that, yeah, they're gonna be salespeople. They're gonna be a little pushy because they wanna eat, right? Yeah, sure. uh, but it's just finding that balance of understanding that if you just push a product on someone, like for example, if you bought a property next week, right? But you ended up buying a property that wasn't right for you because you found a really good salesperson who could sell something to you. In a year, you're probably gonna be unhappy. Mm -hmm. And you're not gonna refer your friends, you're not gonna tell your family, you're not gonna buy again with that agent. So the main way to tackle that is understanding that long-term goal that, hey, if I do a really, really good job with Amy, and I actually sell her the right product for her. She'll be happy, we'll be yeah. friends. Mm -hmm. She'll come back, back in six months when she sells, she'll sell it with me, she'll buy something else, she'll rent with me. And if I do that with 100 clients, 
I'm set, right? So that's the mindset we go for. Last one for me. For, a big thanks to you for being guest co-host today. So plenty more coming um, from you a little later on. But quick question about the back to the sort of the training, the recruitment, the, uh, the managing of expectations of those wanting to break into the market. Um, Selling sunset, million dollar listings, the popularity booming at the moment. Oh, I love Help it. or hindrance though? Help or hindrance to what you try and do? Oh man, good question. Uh, well, both. Yeah. Help in that it gets the world excited about real estate. Yeah. And so people want to join, you know, one, they want to move to Dubai because, you know, glitz and glamour of Dubai, which is awesome. Uh, and two, they want to join a company like X Capital doing it well. So helpful in that way that people want to join the market and get into it unhelpful and that they come with these crazy expectations which we then have to <laughs> shut down on day one Amy expectations what right? do you mean i'm not selling on the palm yeah. you know? i'm not going to be a millionaire in six months yeah. oh yeah <laughs> so, so yeah um, the expectation part is real yeah we're going to talk about that in a second after the break we discuss investment and property growth in the city with a property lawyer and khalid went down to the progressive property network to take a look at their launch in the city and we have a very special performance taking place in our studio tonight, so don't go anywhere.